Hi, my name is Eileen Pires, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is the futures of a black hole. So this is a this is going to get a little strange and a little exotic. So uh, bear with me. I'll, I'll first describe uh, a simple black hole a sketch, and then I will talk about different types of black holes. So the first sketch that I want to talk about is the main component of any black hole, and the main thing to know is that we have a singularity. And this is what remains of the collapsed star. And the really important thing here to know is that it has a finite amount of mass. So a star didn't have an infinite amount of mass, it had a finite amount of mass. This is the remaining mass of that collapsed star, but it's confined to a zero volume. So that means it has infinite density. And I know that's strange. So infinite density, but it has finite, finite uh, mass. Now, every back black hole has one of those. Now, the next thing that we want to talk about is the event horizon. And this is the event horizon. Now, the event horizon is the point of no return. Once you pass the event horizon, not even light can escape. You, you are going to remain either in orbit around the black hole or you're just going to go directly into the black hole. Now, uh, the other important thing to know is that if the black hole is feeding, meaning that it is gravitationally pulling some mass from a, from a nearby object. Let's say that this is a star, and is, the star is starting to have this mass accreting around the black hole. This is called the accretion disk. Sometimes this mass gets superheated, and then you also get these jets. Uh, so we get these massive jets but not all of them have them. Now, I'm going to talk about two types of black holes that are a little exotic. Um, the first one that I want to talk about is the Kerr black hole, and the Kerr black hole introduces a new type of uh, anatomy, and here you uh, introduce something called the ergosphere. And the ergosphere, um, this is kind of, this is getting messy, but uh, if you can keep track of this, this is an ergosphere. And this is kind of the static limit for the black hole. And this becomes uh, the last stable orbit for that black hole. Now, another interesting one, and I would just mention this one, um, is called the, Re the Reisner Nordstrom black hole. And this one has two different event horizons. And this one gets a little weirder because you have an outer, uh, an outer horizon, event horizon, and what that does is that it flips space and time. So now you no longer have a black hole that is a point in, in, in you know, space, now you have a point in time. And then the inner, the inner event horizon flips again space and time. And those are some of the features of a black hole. My name is Eileen Pires and I'm an astrophysicist and these are features of a black hole.